we are now ready to do the removal of the background making it white so um, let me start by showing a few examples of, uh, of pieces that we outsourced to uh, overseas companies they did remove the background but uh, the final result was not really very good as you can see here this ring has mu grain details which are these little bumps on the edges of the ring and uh, when the cropping was done they simply made a straight line that ended up removing all the details of the edges of the ring so that's something that we would not want when uh, the background is removed and here also on the back of the shank uh, the back of the shank is out of focus compared to the head of the ring so when you are selecting the bottom of the shank the bottom of the shank should also have some, uh, soft edges not hard edges because when they have hard edges you end up losing the illusion of depth that a photograph has Let's, let me show you here the selection of the bottom of the, sh the shank was done with very hard edges so the ring ends up looking very flat it doesn't have like a good uh, 3D perspective so this is something that should be also avoid, avoided I'm going to show a very good example of a piece that the bottom of this bracelet, the, the back was very out of focus but because uh, the selection on the back of the, the bracelet was with very sharp edges it looks really weird it doesn't look realistic so this is something that we have to avoid when removing the background so and let me show how uh, I do it there are certainly other ways of doing it but I'm going to show you my way so I use the want tool by pressing W I brought, brought up the one tool and I selected uh, the background right next to the mill grain on the side of the ring so let me, let me zo zoom out pressing control zero control zero as you can see here out oh, the wheel to do a little zoom uh, you see that some part of the ring was selected in a way that we didn't want so the head dominant part of the dominant is being selected so there are some part of the selection that's not selected in the way we want so what we need to do here is to eliminate the part of the selection that is uh, is unacceptable so what I'll do is go back to the square tool sure. by okay. pressing M on the keyboard now I press alt and then I will yes. remove uh, everything on the selection that is not acceptable I'll press alt again from this top part here now alt again remove here this part so what is left is pretty much what uh, the selection did that was pretty decent okay. alt and remove the top here also All right, great. Yeah. so this part looked okay. pretty decent there are some stuff that need to be f um, uh, adjusted like for example let me press the L key shift uh, do a fine tuning here on the selection There is um, this part here that is also taking part of the, the diamond. So I press Control, I press actually Alt, and then I selected out the part I didn't want. So this side of the ring here, I press Shift, add this little go to the selection. Um, this is I'm going to press Alt <coughs> and remove this. 
Um, okay, so I just uh, removed the parts I didn't want on the selection, so here we go. So now how do I add this selection to the rest of the selection that I'll be doing later? I simply press Ctrl, copy, Ctrl C and Ctrl V. So now the image, uh, what is selected is now an object. So I hide this object, go back to the main image. So now I do uh, a zoom here on this side. And now press W, w. go back to the wand tool again. Yeah. That's what I needed. Uh, the one tool selected around the milk grain. So instead of doing it by hand, which which would take forever, or just doing straight line, which would end up removing all the details, I used the wand tool on the part where I thought it was important to select it this way. So now I go back to let me zoom out, pressing Alt and rolling the wheel on the mouse. And now I'm going to remove the rest of the selection that, that I don't want. So I'm going to press M on the keyboard to get to the square selection tool. Now press Alt. And I'll start removing these selections I don't want. I don't want this. I also don't want this. I don't want this either. So I selected this part. Let me press Alt and now roll the wheel on the mouse. Do a zoom in and it's so something I don't want. So let me go to the tool. Press L, L, L. Now press Alt. And now remove this. Here we are. The selection I wanted. So now, what I'm gonna do with this? I'm gonna do the same with the with the what I did on the other side. So press Control C, Control V. So now I have both sides of the shank as objects. So now let me select them, selected them both. And I'm going to press Ctrl E to merge the two uh, objects. They are now one object. So as you can see, they're both objects. So now what I need to do now is to con uh, I'm going to do the rest of the selection. I will do this on the next video.